Does anyone know what automated mixing is? You know, who know? Tell us, Mr. Audio. Automated mixing actually began way back in 1939 with Bill Garrity and John Hawkins as they were developing the Fantasound system for Disney's Fantasia. However, it would be decades before automation was available on mixing consoles. Consoles with VCA, voltage controlled amplifier faders, allowed mix engineers to set levels and refine the mix with every pass. Engineers could lock in the volume levels on many of the tracks, freeing them to focus on the nuances of one or more tracks, and create a mix with more precision than ever before. Unfortunately, on most of the early automated consoles, the automation was limited to only volume and mute. The mix engineer therefore needed to make detailed notes indicating how everything else, both onboard and outboard, was configured, in case the session needed to be redone in the future. As console automation improved, data was recorded for almost all functions. Although many of these features still required some manual reset, and many of the consoles could not dynamically change these settings during the mix. With digital audio workstations, almost all mixing parameters can be dynamically automated. Once the automation is written, the session can be opened in the future with all the proper settings, as easily as opening a Word document. Thanks, Mr. Audio. For more interesting facts about sound, visit Mr. Audio at soundimages.com.